SolidWorks has had the capability to create blocks for some time now. It's very easy to do. Select sketch entities and define an insertion point, and there we have our, our sketch block. Blocks are now more productive in that the new functionality in SolidWorks 2006 leverages these blocks. This functionality is called Sketch Layout. It's very easy to insert blocks into a layout just by dragging and dropping, getting inferencing from existing geometry, and adding relationships. You can see now that these relationships enable us to do motion. We're able to prove out designs before committing to a 3D model. To add blocks as simple as drag and drop, we can grab another instance of the same block, put that into our sketch layout, dragging and dropping, adding relationships to existing 2D geometry, very simple to do, and then proving out our motion, making sure that our hydraulic cylinders work, making sure that the spatial relationships are correct before we create our assembly. Now from this 2D sketch, we can automatically create an assembly. Each one of those sketch blocks will automatically create a new part in our assembly. We have the option to, to name these, to define these, uh, location and such. And now our assembly has automatically been created. If we want to edit any of these part files, it's simple as just initiating the command. Taking an existing sketch and extruding it is very simple. And when we do this and go back to the assembly, you'll see that now we have both 2D and 3D components. In editing that, that initial sketch block, we'll propagate through. We'll just change this from 53 to 70. The length changes, we update that, and everything automatically updates in SolidWorks. So it's very easy to lay out designs in 2D and then automatically create assembly files and then create your 3D geometry from that 2D geometry.